All right, good afternoon, everybody. So I wanted to do a quick test. I know that I've told you that I was gonna try and work on some load imbalance testing, and I just haven't had the time to get out to get the supplies that I need to have more of an isolated test. But I was at the church last night and saw that one of the bounce house blowers needed to have the plug redone. So I brought that home and I had this idea. I wonder if the midnight can start up both of the bounce house blowers on the same leg at the same time. So let's find out together. So what I have done is ran one extension cord up to this outlet, which is controlled by this 20 amp breaker on leg two. And inside the wiring cabinet, I took an extension cord and I pulled the plug off of the end and wired that directly to this 20 amp breaker. Now, if you look at the lines up top, the two breakers on the left have a black line, they go to leg one, and the two breakers on the right have red lines and they come over and tap into leg two. So this 20 amp breaker has my extension cord, which I do not recommend doing this. Don't follow what I'm doing. This is just for testing purposes. But this 20 amp circuit breaker is on leg two as well. So I'll end up turning on both breakers at the same time. And for kicks and giggles, I'm just gonna leave the rest of the house running like normal. So as of right now, 213 on leg one and 381 on leg two. So I put both of the blowers over here. These are both two horse blowers. So that's gonna put quite a bit of load on leg two. I mean, leg two right now is, is not significantly high, but the surge requirements for these are gonna be pretty big. So let's find out if it can do it. Right now we're powering 731 watt of total power and I don't have my other camera on this display so we're just gonna have to go based on what the app shows and then you know what the <laughs> what the inverter does if it overloads so we've got one breaker here and one over here and we will be turning on <laughs> in three two one Yes! <laughs> Woo, boy, they're loud now. We did have a little uh, indicator flash on the screen for a second. I don't know actually what it was. We don't have any grid connected. And on the mobile device, we show 4.3 kilowatts of load. That's sweet. All right, let's turn those off because they're loud. So two two horse motors firing up at the exact same time. That's quite a bit of power. I wonder if I can get the clamp meter on this. So I'm gonna set, I don't have an inrush meter. Those suckers are expensive. But I have my clamp meter set to maximum. It gets close. It's, it's not gonna be the full amount but it gets pretty close to the total amp draw. I've got the clamp meter around both lines to hopefully get the maximum draw. Right now the max is 4.2. Let's see how much that goes up. Let's run our test again. In three, two, one, now. Fifty six point seven amps on startup. And now our blowers are at full capacity. I did see on the display it said error was DC, the Delta Charlie. And that seems to be an error about a backup overload. Well, let's see if we can capture that error again in three, two, one. Stop. 
Yep, there we go. Delta Charlie, DC, 228 on leg one, four kilowatts on leg two. All right, I'm tired of yelling. And if we look at the manual here, Delta Charlie, DC is backup overload. So we did see 56.7 amps on leg two. I do want to try and see how long it can run that way. Four kilowatts versus, you know, a couple hundred watts on leg one. Now, everything else in the house is still running. So if some large load kicks on, that might kick it over the edge. But, you know, oh, stupid meter. <laughs> At least my hands weren't in some electrical panel this time. But if some other load does kick on, that could cause things to really go way, way out of balance. But let's see if this can run for, you know, a minute or two with that imbalance between leg one and leg two. So we're at 668 right now, 446 watts on leg two. Those bounce house blowers are going to be blowing so much cat hair all over the place and dust in that basement but hey we got to run the test right we got the extra blower let's use it this is going to be fun trying to hit all this at the same time all right let's start it 448 on leg two right now let's start it now in three two one go I know I was a little slow on this second one, but it still works. Blowers are running. We have the DC on the inverter. And now we're kind of leveled out. Twenty seconds in. Waiting for the app to refresh. We're at 3.66 kilowatts right now on our backup load. This says four kilowatts. Checking these extension cords because they're not really designed for two horse motors to run all the time. So much noise over here. Just slowing everything like I'm in a tornado. 57.5 amps was the max that time. Backup load on the apps is 4.29 kilowatts. We're at a minute and a half, just about. These cords are getting, they're not hot to the touch. They're just a little warm. Two point, uh, 230 watts on leg one, four kilowatts on leg two at the moment. Rearrange the camera a little bit. Yeah, and I don't know if it's going to be how visible it's going to be able to be. 230 on leg one, four kilowatts on leg two still. We're at two minutes and 40 seconds. Still running with a 3,500 watt imbalance, no problem. Other than it's noisy. And we reached four minutes, no problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut these down. Inverters fan is running right now. But again, a 3,500 watt imbalance, no issues. All right, I really wasn't planning on doing this kind of a test, but hey, I've got the stuff, so why not try it? So I ended up taking another line and tapping into this 15 amp breaker, which again is on leg two, going down to this surge protector and hooks up to the vacuum cleaner, which is turned on. All the devices over here are turned on. I do have the multimeter down here wired through all three lines. So we know that it can do two bounce house blowers plus whatever the house load is. And it's about to switch here to consumption, 215 on leg one, 377 on leg two. 
So when I flip these two breakers and then this one here, it's gonna turn everything on at the same time. So can it handle that kind of a surge? I don't know, but we're gonna find out together in three, two, one. Holy cow, it actually did it. <laughs> two two horse blowers plus the vacuum cleaner all starting up at the same time. Come on, flip over consumption. Five point one on leg two. We got a DC alarm on the inverter. Looking at the app, 5.37 kilowatts total. 233 on leg one, 5.1 on leg two. So it started up all of that stuff at the same time. So notice this time the DC has not gone away. So it's still displaying there. And again, DC is backup overload. So because leg two is over that five kilowatts, it's showing a backup overload. Now, unfortunately, I didn't have a timer going this time to see how long this is going, but I can use the video editing to see how long it can actually go. And I did because I know that resistance changes when the bounce house blowers are warm and they're continually spinning up. So I did let them sit for a little bit to hopefully cool down. But you can see the imbalance that we have right now is over four and a half kilowatts, which is pretty sweet. We've had to have been running for over a minute easily. I'm honestly waiting for like the well to kick on for it to just throw everything out of whack. But I don't have anything right at my fingertips to plug in to a dedicated circuit to add more. <laughs> That's where I need all those extra components that I wanted to wire up all of these internal breakers so that I could really mix and match loads. Oh, it went away. Oh, now it's back. So it's gotta be, <laughs> it's fluctuating. I don't know if it's blinking for like an alarm state that it's gonna shut off. What are we at right now? 231 on leg one. Still five kilowatts on leg two. I don't need that on. But that's pretty, that's, that's nuts really, being able to have that much of an imbalance and have it just work. Do I have any more loads to add? Now these lines are starting to get a little warm, so I think I need to turn these off. I'm getting warm just standing by the inverter with those fans running, whew. Between that and running around and plugging and unplugging and the stress of, will it work? <laughs> so that was a fun test. Again, this is not the, the load test that I was really hoping to do because I want to be able to have a little more control over some of my loads. So I need to get some supplies so I can wire up a lot of these different breakers in here to dedicated outlets that I can then plug and unplug different loads to maybe even go above that five kilowatt on one leg and see how it works. So, uh, it's fun for me. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And with that, I'm gonna let y'all go. <laughs> that was nuts. <laughs> y'all stay safe, stay cool, and we'll catch up with you later.